Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Tube Talk. Thank you, Kate. Lovely to have you here. Yes. On um, school holidays. Yes, and Sophie's away at a fun camp. So she, yeah, she is. She's doing like a survivor type camp. Yeah. And well, teams. let's start. So, last week you had Zapper who won on Friday at Rotorua. Yes, really good. She had five starts now for a win in three placings. Second up this time in, yeah, good win. She got to the front and just floated around a little bit. And uh, while it was a narrow win, she still had a bit of gas in the tank. So, uh, I think we'll put blinkers on her next start. And I think she'll find another couple of lengths. She can certainly win another, another one or two this campaign. Then you had an excellent debut, who second, Darcy Palmer. Really good debut from him. Probably just green, this cost him. Um, jumped well, lead kicked. Another horse just head him, but he kept fighting. Uh, really good run. He'll improve a stack for that. He's improved the whole way through this prep. Um, he will go uh, step up to 1,400 metres probably next time. And um, he'll keep stepping up. He can go up to a mile as well. Um, could go 1,200, but I think probably 14. And um, he'll be very hard to beat no matter where he lines up. And then on Friday, you had Holy Grail, who ran well in Singapore. Very well. He was 101, 18 a place. I must admit, I had a few dollars on at that price. I couldn't resist. Got back last. Ran home really well for fifth. Wasn't sort of far off third. Uh, he steps up and ground again another 100 metres a couple of weeks' time, and uh, he should be very, very competitive. If he gets a half decent draw, he can be right in the finish. Then you had Top Actress, who ran second at Tarapa. Yeah, just beating the nose. A very consistent horse, and uh, she had side winkers on, and Alicia Collett felt that she just maybe couldn't quite see the other horse, because she said she got to the front, thought she had it won, and, and she just sort of kept going, and she felt she had more in there to lift. So we might just take the side wingers off for a next start so she can see the other horses coming. So a couple of seconds in a row. And once she does win one, she'll go on with it. She's just lacking a little bit of confidence to get over the line. Then you had a couple of very unlucky runners at Waverley, Brahmarama and Rip and Tegir. In the same race, Brahmarama got a very nasty check at the 600, knocked him right back through the field. He ended up running fifth, not beaten far. I think it was about a length and a half or even a length. He stalled home. Rip into year just could not get a gap. She got knocked over twice in the straight, just couldn't get out. Both horses can win at their next starts. Cool. And then at Tarapa on Saturday, you had Prince Mambo. Prince Mambo, we did. He staved off retirement, Kate. He um, stepped up uh, to a staying distance. He got caught wide through the first bend. He led, he kicked hard, fought well, wasn't beaten far. Michael Bernier rode him, rode him well, but unfortunately Michael was quite sick and he had to be stood down after that race. He was could hardly stand up when he got off the horse and he probably just couldn't quite get enough vigour into the horse late because he was sick and um, also in the worst part of the track. So it was a really good run and there's a couple of options for him coming up uh, over 2,100 metres uh, on, the tw- on the 28th at Hawke's Bay or back at Waikato on the 5th. Oh, and then you had Reliable Man Symphony Rock Philly. So we want to talk about her. It's been quite exciting what's happened with her. So she's a filly, we've still got a couple of shares left in. And on Saturday, she had a big pedigree update. Uh, Symphony Rock's half sister, Cara Lee, had a daughter called Improvise, and she won the Princess Stakes in Australia for three old fillies over a mile, a listed race. Um, and I think she's heading to the Queensland Oaks. And then this filly, Reliable Man Filly's other half sister, three year old, won a trial at Radwick and absolutely bolted it in the fastest time of the day. Wow. On Tuesday. So there's been a couple of, the family's really improving going forward and a couple of big upgrades. So there's still a couple of shares left in there. She was bought exceptionally well at the sales and her value's only gone up. So have a look at our website. Give us a call. It's only like 3,375 a share. Wow. So a lot of upside for her. So have a look on the website. Now let's get into this week. So on Thursday at Woodville in race eight, we have Dashing Ruby. Yeah, Dashing Ruby, two starts for a fifth and a, and a seventh. She's a staying filly that we're wanting to get over ground. She's still a touch weak. Big question mark tomorrow is the track conditions, which are likely to be heavy. 
Up in Ganagan, whether to start her on a heavy track. She's got barrier one in the last race, so the track's going to be at its worst. Uh, Sam Collett's on, which is a big plus. We may run um, because we don't know whether she'll handle the heavy track and find out whether she does or not. It's probably an opportunity to do that. If she does, if she handles the track, she's certainly a top three chance. Cool. Then uh, on Friday at Te Aroha in race four, we have Demelza. And I should say Blinkers go on her too. Demelza's coming into her career. She's being sold on the 8th of May, 7th, 8th of May. Um, so this is poss probably her last run. There's a chance she could have one more. It's probably her last run. Uh, it'd be nice for her to be able to get a winner of placing going into that sale. She's got nice barrier draw five over 2,200 metres. Um, we'll just look to get her cover, get covered up the whole way and finish off. Um, uh, and if she can do that and she can run the first three, it's going to help her going, going towards the sale. So, pro, pro, as I say, probably her last run would be great if she'd go out on a good note. Cool. Then on Saturday at Counties, in race eight, we have Bell Tester. Bell Tester, um, two runs back in this time. First up, she was over far too short a distance. Second up was a nice fifth over a mile. Uh, decided to go a mile again before we step her up because there's a 2200 meter race in, the, in three weeks time, which is perfect for her, which we're heading towards. So she needs another run beforehand. So we're going a mile at Pukekohe. Uh, she's got a re reasonably nice enough barrier of five. She should get quite a nice run in transit. Uh, she has got four more wet tracks. Just depends on how well it is, but she can run quite a nice cheeky race, certainly a top five chance uh, and top three chance and can, and, and will set her up nicely for when she gets over ground, which is where she really thrives. Awesome. Danielle Johnson Lyons. Then finally on Saturday at Wellington Race 7, we have Black Stab. So Black Stab's also being sold at sale on the 7th of May. Um, so she's only gonna have one to two more runs. Um, fresh up a rating 75 1400 meters now this horse actually won a trial on Tuesday but let him win well mm -hmm. so she's she's coming back quite nicely um, she's out of her grade but we've got Alicia Collard on she's only got 54 kilos to carry we've got a little bit of a wide barrier of eight we're just right away she's happy and um, she's got very very good ability so if she's forward enough on the wet track she can run well probably the question mark is heavy track Although in saying that it could improve before Saturday, first up, but she, but she's certainly got the ability to run well. Now it's time for Bear of the Week. So this week for Bear of the Week, in race one at the Easter Handicap. No, not race one. Oh, race seven, sorry. In the Easter Handicap, we have at Pukekohe. At Pukekohe, we yeah. have Mega Blast. Mega Blast, Mega Blast, fresh up. He's got fifty-seven and a half kilos to carry, but he's a very good horse. He's trained on the track. He loves it wet. It's gonna be wet. Uh, fresh up will put a few people off, but Nigel Tiley trains, he'll be fit. I think he'll be well over the odds. I think he'll be double figures. Mm -hmm. And I think he can run well. He does go good fresh. So, Mega Blast, hopefully around $13, is our bet of the week. We'll see if we can run the first three. Well, that concludes um, bit of uh, Tube Talk for this week. Thank you, Kate. Thank you for having me. And we shall see you hopefully next week. Okay, bye. bye.